Welcome, Andrew from the LED Group Robus here, bringing a new product to our range. It's the Duke 2. Yes, for those who are familiar with the Duke, new improved version, number two. Uh, a few key points on this one, right from the word go on the install. No more screw tips on the ends. They are a click out connection, uh, actual connection. So you don't need a screwdriver on that side or either side, but you will need a screwdriver to undo a main screw here for security on the actual unit. Uh, that's actually for protection. Uh, the unit itself, big key bonus. It's got four wattages on here. So you can choose 16 watts, 25, 32, and 40 watts, all in the one fitting. There's a little dip switch on the driver that you set. All instructions are all there. So you can change the wattage on what you prefer. Uh, CCT3, as per normal, 3,000, 4,000, and 6,500 Kelvin. The models are available in a two foot and a four foot, with the four foot version having options such as dual power, which is the microwave sensor version. With that version, you can actually have three stage dimming. So, and you can set and change the parameters uh, for the unit itself just by dip switches. And it means that you can actually have the units on at a low level without going off. So if you've got those car park jobs where you want to maintain low level lighting without the unit going off completely, great fitting that will fit the build. Um, another key factor that you can use on both the two foot and the four foot versions is that we do have the emergency pack that you can add to these fittings as well. They can be added to the two foot and the four foot versions and the connections inside the fitting are ready to go to install the emergency pack. Uh, so a standard fitting that you can modify to an emergency, big plus guys. The emergency pack is self-test as well. And for those who are not familiar with self-test, it does have your little indicators on the end here that you just push out for the status indicator and the test button if you do want to do a manual test. But the self-test does actually have the uh, six months, the periodic testing, which has to be a um, compulsory. It is AS2293 certified, as well as the Australian standards. Ticks all the boxes, guys. Um, yeah, check it out on your wholesaler. If they don't have them, ask to get them. Any other information you can see on our website, any further questions that you may have or problems, give us a call in technical at Rovers. Otherwise, check it out on our website. If you like the video, click like and check out some of our other products. We're here to help save time. Catch you again soon.